is a grumpy box of, box of matches. It's obviously been in my pocket for a while. Looks like it got wet once, got munched. I always compress after the initial charring light. Tobacco kind of expands. Okay, we'll give that a try. What am I smoking? Nice. What it is, when you open the tin, you go, wow, Dunhill 965. That's what my initial first impression was. Bang, 965. And 965 is very distinctive. Um, what this is, you love the label. Uh, it's from Dan Tobacco in Germany. Uh, Bill Bailey's Balkan Blend. Still on my Balkan thing. May not have packed that real well. Need a little more light. Yeah, these matches. <laughs> That's the thing about matches after they've been a little wet and then the striking surface sometimes it gets kind of grotty too. That's called flavor. It's what we like. You know how you get a, a latte from a good barista? They're using really great dark beans, not Starbucks overcharred, over roasted stuff, but really rich. But put a little cream in there. And it's this, it isn't caramel really, but it's just this creamy, you can just almost bite into it, rich flavor. And it, that, hmm. I like this stuff. I'm going to have to uh, probably pick up some of this bulk. Because the tins, 50 grams get a little expensive. I was up in Vancouver over the weekend. We stopped at uh, the Fairhaven Smoke Shop in Bellingham on the way up. Uh, Mike Waters runs it. He's this young guy. Again, you know, it's um, a young guy who... So I didn't ask him how he did it financially, but... Uh, it was a smoke shop before, but then it was closed for a few months. He picked it up, and it is just the coolest place. Where I'm going to have to do a video in there. I'm sure he'd let me do it. It is really neat in this old turn-of-the-century building, Victorian era. High ceilings, lots of wood, kind of a narrow space, not very big. But he's got a lot in there. He's got some Mario Grandi pipes. Uh, Stanwells, um, he has a few estate pipes, and yes, this I picked up there from him. It's a Bjarna. Uh, it says handmade, but I'm sure not a Bjarna Nielsen, I wouldn't think. I love the shape. You know, it's a freehand, but it's not overdone. Sometimes it's just like, you know, these craggy works of art. Which is fine. I mean, they're cool, but uh, I guess I'm just not that loud visually. Anyway, teach their own. But I really like it. I had to, uh, this, the lucite stem was bent a little much for me, so it was kind of that. So I wanted it a little more horizontal. I like to have the top of the bowl be horizontal no matter how the rest of the pipe is. 
So I uh, corrected that and uh, cleaned her up, had to scrape quite a bit of cake out of there. Left a little bit. I'm liking it. Really beautiful grain, not a fill in sight, and just tight grain and flame all the way up. Although there's some bird's eye over here. It's kind of too dark to see, and my camera doesn't resolve those things very well. But um, I love it. I'd looked at this the last time I was up there a couple of months ago, and I thought, hmm, no. He was asking a little much, I thought. It was just off the top of his head, you know. I could have dickered. But um, I guess I just wasn't in the mood. But yesterday I was. And one of the reasons I was in the mood is uh, I love a bricks and mortar tobacco shop. You know, the real thing, not on the internet somewhere. You can, I mean, it's got just bowls of bulk tobacco lined up, you know, and you can just sniff them, feel them, see how they feel. You know, you just get so much more input than you do from a photograph. Some shops don't even have photos. They don't even have a description of what it is, hardly, you know, a one-liner. He's very knowledgeable. Um, and my point of this video actually is, um, I, I encourage everybody, if you have a bricks and mortar tobacco shop, to give me your business. Not all of it. You know, I mean, I sometimes you just cannot beat some of those internet <sighs> deals, you know, or just availability. They just don't have it, you know. They can't. A little shop out in Podunk nowhere really can't um, can have everything, you know. Of course, so so the internet is part of our shopping experience. I think for probably all of us. Um, but if you have a little tobacconist around, even if you don't really care for him that much, maybe just make the effort and let him know what you like. Give him that feedback. Give him that information so maybe he can carry it or improve his selection or whatever. But it'll be a good thing for everybody. And uh, yeah, I just encourage you to do that. It's very satisfying to go into a bricks and mortar place. I mean, okay, it's fun getting a box in the mail, too. But, uh, yeah, there's nothing like the real thing. Hmm. So I picked up a couple of Virginia mixed blends and uh, uh, just had a real good time. So that was fun.